Stay tuned and let's check out this Marvel Legends Eternals Gilgamesh Builder Figure Wave, Kingo. Pow, and welcome back to the channel, Dan Who Reviews. As always, my name is Dan W. Make sure you are following me on Instagram at it, Dan Who. And remember, you can now hit that join button and become a channel member as well. Quite simply, show some love or join the members club. Much, much appreciated. Today, we continue looking at this Marvel Legends Eternals Gilgamesh Builder Figure Wave. And in front of me, we have Kingo. And his unique ability, it seems, he can shoot cosmic energies out of his hand. That's why he comes with an interchangeable set of fingers that have these like blast effects on them. Of course, he also comes with an arm for the Gilgamesh Builder Figure. Now, first and foremost, let me just say, go and check out iComicIndustries.com, your place for graphic novels, t-shirts, toys and collectibles, but most importantly for us, Marvel Legends. Current waves in stock right now, ready to ship and get your pre-orders in for future Marvel Legends. So much more than that, go and check them out yourself, iComicIndustries.com and go and follow them on Instagram at iComicIndustries. All the links are in the video description. How much appreciated iComicIndustries. Now Kingo has a sort of of purple tint to his uniform. Again, completely different and unique to the others. They all look similar, but they all are unique molds and we shall see that when we compare them all at the end. But yeah, here he is. There he is on the side of the box with the actor. Again, I'm not gonna try and pronounce the actor's name. I know who it is, but if I pronounce his name on it, YouTube, all I will get is the comments telling me I'm pronouncing it wrong. So I'm not even gonna try. But uh, we do get a little right of the reads. An Eternal with the power to project cosmic energy projectiles from his hands, Kingo, over the centuries became enamored with the idea of fame. And then as always, you get a list of all the figures in this wave you need to complete the Gilgamesh Builder figure. Today we're reviewing Kingo. So yeah, another character to add to the lineup. Looking good, let's get him open. Here we have Kingo out of the box with all of his accessories. Now I say all of his accessories, the majority are pieces for the Gilgamesh Builder figure, which are an arm and an interchangeable fist for Gilgamesh. So as always, once I've looked at all the figures in this wave, we will build and review the Builder figure last. Today, let's take a closer look at Kingo. His interchangeable parts are these two Finger blasting hands? I sort of don't want to use this phrase finger blasting, but it's pretty accurate uh, as these have like sculpted on effect pieces that demonstrate his cosmic ability. But we'll take a closer look at them in a minute. But as always, let's start, stand up, let's start at the head school. Taking a closer look, I do think they've captured the likeness of the actor. I'm going to try and say his name once, all right? But I don't want to see comments uh, below telling me I've pronounced it wrong, all right? I know I've probably pronounced it wrong. It's Kameo Nanjiami. I think that's how you say his name. Apologies if it's not. But I think they've captured his likeness pretty well. He's got quite an expressive face with the raised eyebrow. And you can actually see the sort of creases in the forehead and a little tiny smirk. But if I throw up a side by side, then you tell me what do you think? Think of the likeness as always with these figures from certain angles they are spot on from others you sort of have to squint your eyes a little bit but again that's what happens when you put someone at this scale in plastic uh, but yeah I can definitely see the actor in there and that's the main thing uh, the head sculpt is very nice the hair is just all black he's got a bit of a quiff um, and yeah very simple but again, I like it. As I said, quite an expressive face. A bit more character, a bit more cheekiness on his face compared to the ones we've looked at so far. Everyone seems very serious. This one seems like he's up for a bit. King goes up for a bit of a bit of a joke, a bit of a fun time, maybe. But uh, yeah, I think the head sculpt is pretty good. Uh, in regards to the rest of the outfit, yet again, a completely pinless Marvel Legend figure uh, with a unique sculpt. As I said, as I keep saying, at first glance, it appears that all of these Eternal figures could just be the same sculpt in with a different colour. No, all of them are completely unique. Now, uh, Kingo's colour is more uh, purple, but he's got a bit of a gold trim. There is some silver in there as well, and obviously some black in there as well. So I quite like his colour palette. Uh, and again, all of these details on the chest here are sculpted on there and you can see they're pretty good uh, pretty well done because they're sculpted then they're chrome but then it's got like gold in all this like the sculpted area so that's very nicely
nicely done. It's been around to the back. You still get the sculpted detail, but you're just seeing the sort of metallic paint. There's no extra details here on the back. Uh, it's all on the front, even here on the black sort of front piece. You've got the gold trim going down as well. On the arms, you've got a bit of different colors as well. But as I said, they've all this sort of metallic sort of air uh, paint. So they're definitely going to shine a little bit and catch the light on your shelf, just like this guy's doing now under my big white lights. Uh, he has got some slits down in his sort of skirt piece. Uh, this one can cut all the way up. Uh, so not much detail on the trousers, but if I bring his leg out, you can see, as I said, it's completely pinless. No painted detail on the leg, um, but it is a nice sort of chromey um, purple to match the top. There is a bit of detail actually on the boots. It's a bit of a darker colour on the boots uh, to give it a bit of contrast. Uh, but yeah, I like this. The, as I said, he comes with two fisted hands as well, uh, which is nice. Sort of standard Marvel Legends articulation. I'm not going to get into it. You know the score. Pretty good double jointed elbow. Legs, unfortunately, will be hindered uh, because this skirt piece, it's not rock hard, but it's not super soft either. So you can like get his leg up, but it, um, but yeah, it's, um, yeah, it's not bad actually to be fair the legs are double jointed so look at that even so even with the skirt piece you can still get him kicking his own lower back so do you know what i take it back uh, it's not bad at all uh, i think they've done a pretty good job at sort of allowing him to be able to move at least a little bit because as i said he is trained to be a samurai i believe uh, i know in the film he's going to be more of a bollywood star but uh, again he's very good at hand-to-hand -hand combat uh, and that's why his hands have all the power so what a perfect segue to look at his hands so there you go, his hand has this cosmic effect coming out of these two fingertips. Now at first I thought this may be hollow and it may plug into this separate set of hands, but no, it is sculpted on there and actually glued, so you can't take this sort of blast effect off. This is actually attached to these interchangeable hands. But we have seen him in the trailer now where he's actually using these against a deviant and he can sort of just use them as like guns out of his hands a little bit. So um, yeah, I think that's pretty good. I always like it when you can get a character's accessories to help sort of bring the shaft to life and display their abilities. So yeah, I like that. Uh, considering that all the other Eternal figures have just had like plain hands, now we're actually getting one with a little bit of cosmic energy. So I, I like that a lot. But uh, yeah, both of these are the same hands just obviously reversed uh, but they yeah make the display a little bit more interesting so let's jump straight into some comparisons and as i just said kingo does need some deviance to shoot out now he's got those interchangeable hands so here we have kingo compared to the deluxe crow who is of course a variant an arch nemesis of the eternals and uh, yeah i think he scales very nicely with kingo here we have them compared to two of the other figures from this Gilgamesh Builder Figure Wave that I've already reviewed on the channel, which are Icarus and Circe. And again, I think these look very nice together. And let's bring in the two exclusive Eternal figures with Ajax and Athena. So now we have five Eternals on the shelf and we've still got five to go. So this is half of the lineup and obviously stick around, subscribe as I will be opening them all up. And as I keep telling you, once you've got these posed together, they catch the light, they're gonna stand out, they're gonna make a nice little section of our MCU display. Now we just gotta hope that the film's good. Here we have Kingo compared to a couple of MCU characters that he may bump into during phase four. We shall see. And as I'm still on a Marvel Legends Sentinel hype, here we have Kingo compared to Bastion and the female Sentinel Prime. Go and check out my Sentinel unboxing and review. And then last, but definitely not least, here we have Kingo compared to Worthy, Hal, Fire, Hank. So final thoughts, another solid offering from this Eternals lineup as we continue to build out this team now. All of them are looking very on theme and as they start putting them together, uh, they're looking even better. I do think they're going to definitely complement each other once you've got this nice Eternals team set up on an MCU shelf. I do think all of the likenesses have been pretty good, especially this one with the actor. I'll try again, people, all right? Kamel Nanjiami. Again, I hope I'm saying it right. I'm trying here, people. Uh, I like the actor. He's been in a lot of stuff I like, so I'm um, curious to see him in this role. And uh, it's always nice to get a figure before the film's even out. It just makes me more excited for the film. Uh, but yeah, again, these figures definitely deserve a lot more credit than people are giving them. Uh, again, once the films come out, I'm sure opinions will change, but I'm on board already. And uh, yeah, this one is very nice. Another solid addition. But you let me know what you think in the comments below. As always, are you on the hype train for the Eternals? Curious to hear your thoughts. And if you want to see me review the rest of these Eternals raves, their, their figures, then I can do that. Thanks to iComic Industries. Much appreciated. Uh, so please, please, please 
hit that subscribe button. You can also hit that join button as well, either show some love or join the members club. Much, much appreciated. And as always, people, you can follow me on Instagram at it's Dan Who. And I'm on Twitter as well at Dan Who Reviews. And until then, people, my name is Dan W. And I will, of course, see you on the next one.